Hello beautiful Sagittarius's. This is your reading, excuse me, <laughs> for this week. Um, I hope you're doing well. I'm so glad to be back with you all. So let's get started. Spirit guide, guardian angel, divine energy, universal energy. What do you have for Sagittarius for March 18th through 24th? What would you like for them to know, pay attention to, or be aware of at this time? Only allowing truth, honesty, love, and acceptance within the space, as above, so below. And Sagittarius, let's get started on your reading and see what spirit has for you this beautiful week. I see there being change for you, Sagittarius, and you trying to hold on to what it is that you do have. Um, what I mean by that is change can be hard and things can be hard. And I feel like you're just, you know, trying to do it. It may feel like things are just coming at you, okay, this week. But we'll see. We'll see. Okay. All right, Sagittarius. So on the bottom of the deck, you have the nine of pentacles and that's about you getting through what is going on in your life. Okay. Um, this nine of pentacles comes up here because you're thinking about yourself, your own independence, what it is that you do have and holding on to it. I don't even want to say dearly, just holding on to it throughout the change and what is happening. Now, it seems like you've been working towards making things better one step at a time. They're telling me like you're working on things one step at a time and that each step is closer to your goal or what it is that you're attempting to achieve. OK, so we're starting off with the four of swords, the four of swords. They're telling me you needed a rest. OK, you needed to take a moment, a breath. Um, or take a rest someone may have passed away okay but you're dealing with that okay it's taking some time to yourself gathering information because a lot of things are coming at you okay a lot of things and a lot of situations and really figuring out how to move forward okay something may have happened with your family Okay, or something may have happened where hmm, there was something you thought that you were going to hold on to that's just in a, a little bit of disarray when it comes to that. Okay, I see there is a moment where you may overindulge in what is going on, whether this be sadness or just everything that is going on, and feeling like, let's see. And feeling like there is a failure. Not a failure as much as things that haven't been planned happening to you. Okay. But you're coming to the end of that. Things are culminating with the world card. And you're going into a new phase. Okay. And you're finding balance within those things moving into this week. Okay. So that's like the past moving into this week. Okay. So I see lots of movement going on. I feel like you're doing a lot of things mm -hmm, to get yourself back on track. You don't want to go back into this situation or back into situations that you had tried to let go. Okay. And you're definitely trying to balance your finances and what's going on around you or this situation moving into this week. So there may be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn involved with that King of Pentacles that I see there. But I feel like you're on top of your game as far as your money and your career goes or you're getting there, okay? And I feel like the knowledge that you're gaining is taking you there, especially with the Hermit card, okay? Because having a goal and seeing mm, where it is that you want to go is going to help you out emotionally you may not be where you want to be you may feel like there are delays in your romantic life 
okay? And maybe in your home life, there may be um, some conflicting energies as well, okay? But I feel like you have the knowledge. Oh, there's a card. I feel like you have the knowledge to get where you want to go. You just need to take it one step at a time. That's a big thing for you is that, um, yeah, one step at a time to get to your goals, to get to your stronger self. You know, Sagittarius, I'm getting that you want to feel more comfortable. You want to be more independent. You want to be where you were once. And you're getting there step by step. You just have to keep going, okay? The middle of the week, it may feel like you have a bit of failure or someone isn't going to see things the way that you see them. There could be an issue with work as well, um, not getting along with your colleagues, not getting along with someone in your household, okay, that's supposed to be working with you or a friend of some sort. But I feel like you can see the truth in whatever this is and you're going to be able to to bust through the walls, okay, that they're trying to put up to you. Because you have things to do. And you're going to still keep going even though that is happening. The Wheel of Fortune talks about a turn. A turn and a change in your life for good. Because you're aware and you can see the truth of what is going on, okay. Be careful about not listening and listening to your intuition as well. Because things may not be growing the way that you want them to visually like in your environment okay but just know that things are transforming and they are getting better okay and you're transforming as well you know so it's just it's going to take some time it's like you're in this mist of change and you're not going to see it as much as feel it so there is some conflicting energy maybe with the past and the present okay but i feel like it's so interesting because it's like they're telling me like you have to endure it um there's something with not getting the accolades that you want um during this time and that's something that you need you need that support whether this be from career moves or bosses or relationship or friends and you're going to learn how to do this within yourself and not from others because you're going it's like you're forced to do this for yourself okay so emotionally it's going to heal you from the inside learning how to accept situations and conflict that you can't rush to fix you know yeah it's like learning how to deal with the burdens and learning how to deal with the heaviness is just what you're gonna have to do right now unfortunately be careful Sagittarius about going back into situations or back into old feelings because remember you're changing and moving out of things sometimes you're gonna take a have to take a passive approach when it comes to arguments that keep coming up instead of trying to argue through them or make someone see your point and this is going to make you stronger and build more confidence within you dealing with these individuals or these kinds of situations. It's They're telling me for you not to work on them, to kind of just let them pass because spiritually things are changing and need to change. Okay, so let's get into the cards. Trapped in fear. Don't let fear or anxiety cause you to move in certain situations that you don't need to move in, okay? Because some of this, some of these things that are happening really doesn't have to do, deal with you as much as it does the other person. You're just going to have to let them go through their own ups and downs, okay? Courage, because that's going to take courage to do. Not being forced or feeling like you have to force yourself to fix a situation or fix someone, okay because it's just it's something that's going to have to happen on it on their own and um or the situation is just going to fix itself on its own sort of so in love sagittarius you have unrequited love okay 
and it's interesting because they're saying you're for you're not forcing but you're trying to influence someone to do something different that's not what's going to happen here you're going to have to learn how to go with the flow and, and things um, but i feel like you really want it to change or you really want to put a hand in it but that's not going to fix or resolve the issue next you have chemistry in reverse you're feeling like you're losing your umph you're feeling like you're losing your magnetism that you have either with this person or the situation okay but you aren't it's just what it seems like to you right now let go of control issues okay you can only control yourself that's what they're saying you can control yourself your mouth and how you react to certain situations but you won't be able to control the other half of this party Okay, so thank you so much for listening, Sagittarius, and I will see you next week for more self-discovery. Love and light to you and yours. Bye-bye.